Hey, Bravehearts. I was talking to uh, a beautiful gentleman out of uh, Ontario, okay, and his name is Rav. And Rav, I'm not sure how old he is. I think he's in his late 70s. Anyway, 13 years ago, okay, he plays badminton, and he plays like a semi-pro badminton player, and uh, he could not play for 13 years. Him and his wife came to take our course and understand something. Uh, are you ready for this? He's going to the. He's going to get ready for the world championship in badminton. I think it's world championship, and he's going to be getting ready for that for the next eight months. And I'm going to be posting his videos because that's called the brave hard hero. He used to have to pick his leg up to get out of the car, to get into the car, to sit down, to do everything because he couldn't walk properly anymore. Okay, now just know this. This has got nothing to do with how good I am. This is how amazing your body is. I'm gonna tell you something. You know what he said to me, Daryl? He said it this morning on his video. He said, guess what? We were all born, okay? We were all born for success. We were all born free, okay? We were all born to win, but guess what? We were conditioned to fail. We were conditioned to fail, everyone, because you need to get this. And God love every parent. God love every human being on this planet. So let's make that perfectly clear right now before anybody throws any tomatoes at me. But both of my parents were adulterated. Yes or no? Were yours? Oh, I know they loved you. They loved you the best they could. But understand something. I ended my family curse 25 years ago. And the family curse was walking on eight shells. The family curse was compromising myself and making my children compromise themselves for my dysfunctional beliefs because I too was adulterated. Oh yeah, and then sending my kids to school. Well, only a fool sends their kids to school unless it's a school for higher learning and for a second. If it's anything less than that, you can forget it. So we were all born to win, but conditioned to fail and understand something. We're conditioned to fail again. Are you ready? Are you ready what's gonna happen in a few weeks? I'm not gonna hang around with or be with people that are conditioned to fail. Is that okay with you? I'm not gonna do it. I don't care if it's my children, if it's my friends, uh, and I know that Lori's not that way. Lori is only conditioned herself for success. And understand something, if you went to school, if, you, if you're part of the majority, if you do anything like the majority does, then you're conditioned to fail. So you might as well just get that. So don't don't complain, don't explain, and don't don't be a victim, but you are going to be because you have victimitis. The majority of the population has victimitis. Maybe you don't, but the majority does. Okay? I just talked to a lady here, and uh, I've been talking to her for like four years. And she calls me up and says, Dr. Wolf, Dr. Wolf, my stools are really thin. Okay, and uh, can you tell me what's going on with me? And I said, well, won't well, give her a different name because I will. Well, say, Je Jennifer, let's put it this way. Jennifer, uh, do does your son buy into what you're doing? Well, who lives with you? Oh, my son and my husband. Well, does your husband buy into what you're doing or your son? No, they don't, especially my husband doesn't. Well, there you go. And you know what? I feel for you but I'm not gonna be answering the same questions over and over again and giving you the same answers over and over again because you don't have enough respect for yourself because, and guess what, when you don't, your husband won't and either will your son. I am love, I am healed, I am brave heart. From the moment I rise until I gently close my eyes, I will love, honor, respect, protect myself beyond anyone else or anything else, so help me God. Because I am, I can, I am healed, I am love, I am brave heart. Until you can say that and mean it, you're conditioned to lose. You're conditioned to lose your money. Well, you probably won't ever have it because guess what, we're all born with poverty consciousness when it comes to love, when it comes to money, when it comes to health. Most people will spend their money on getting an insurance, health insurance, because they're planning on to get real sick. I've never had health insurance in my life. I'm not going to have it now. 
I'm mm-hmm. never, I don't go in for blood tests. I don't go in for colonoscopies. Oh my God, you know, you're 40 years old. You should let me put my finger up your butt. Are you like out of your, I don't go for blood tests. I don't go for checkups. Nobody needs to check up on me. Okay, I know that I'm healthy. I know that I'm wealthy on all levels. Okay, I know because I own my life. Okay, trust me, I'm a professional. No, trust me, I'll do my own thing. Okay, trust me, I'm a, I'm a specialist. Well, you're gonna go to a specialist that's gonna, oh, I'm a specialist with the nose or the ear or with the heart. No, you want somebody who's into a whole body healing that's gonna teach you how to heal yourself from the moment you rise until you close your eyes. That you know that you're connected to your breath. Six seconds in, seven seconds out, no matter what the chaos is in the world. Oh, well, did you hear about the war? Oh my God, did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Don't care, don't care. I love myself, respect myself, honor myself. I will stay in the present moment and guess what? I will do whatever I can for every human being on this planet, whether they love me, hate me, care for me, doesn't matter. Because guess what? I know that I will never have any problem with my matter, my physical being, if I have unconditional love for myself and the world. I'm not gonna buy into anybody's BS, okay? The world's a beautiful place. You only have it the way you have it because it's dependent on your belief systems. So understand something. Okay. I was born to win and I'm going to keep on winning and it doesn't matter if they do lockdowns or 15 minute city or carbon. T- let, they're going to on and on, blah, 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 blah. And the only reason why they get away with it is the only reason why they get away with this is because the majority of the population, okay, are conditioned to what? To fail, to lose to say yes when they should have said no, and say no when they should have said yes. They say no to themselves, they say yes to everyone else, and understand something. If you were born to win, you would know there's no authority over you, okay? There's no one that's gonna tell you what to do. And you know what? You need to become your own doctor, your own healer, your own practitioner, and you need to mind your own business, and you need to stop looking for the world to give you approval, because it's never going to. The world's never going to approve of you if you love, honor, and respect yourself because we're not talking about the world. We're talking about the majority. When people say the world, they're talking about the majority, aren't they? And the majority are always going to be like a bunch of cows going to the butcher, okay, and being sold off by the pound. They will not be winners and understand something. So now Daryl's probably going to piss some people off, and I'll show you. I want you to. I want you to show me. I want you to make me wrong that you can sing the song of being a brave heart hero and that you were born to win. Okay, I was born to win. Say it. Say it out loud. Say it proud. I was born to win. Say it. I was born to win. Okay, not to lose. I was born to be the master of my mind, the healer of my body. I do not need Dr. Wolf and I do not need anybody else. I will learn how to think right, drink right, eat right, because I was born to win. I'm going to put on a grin. I'm going to connect to my breath. I'm going to stay in the present moment. That's the only place I can own it. That's the only place of power. That's the only place you can heal. That's the only place you can create something new. And unless you want to change your personality that's not your personality, then guess what? You will never change your reality, so you will be born to lose. You will be born to fail, and that's it. And we're talking about the majority of the population. The majority of the population, their belief systems, create this low roof, okay? Listen to me. The stars are not the limit for me. My belief systems are the limit for me. And my belief systems are gonna change 1% every day in expansion, not in contraction. And why am I not going to be in contraction? Because I don't fear anything. I don't do dumbass stuff, poison myself, or jump off of cliffs. But I also will never listen to one government official about anything. 
Okay, I will never listen to the police because I don't need to. All I have to do is have unconditional love for myself and everyone else and I won't be speeding and I won't be stealing and I won't be lying and I won't be cheating. So who really cares? And understand something, whether you're talking about the military or you're talking about the police or you're talking about anything that is ruled by the federal government, okay, and even the provincial or the state government, just know this. They're not, a, they don't have no authority over you. You think they do. They have no authority over you. Everything that's going to go down in the next five to ten years is only a rule for a fool. It's not a law. So uh, the only way that I know that I was born to win is, is because I have a grin on my face all the time and I am not listening to anybody, whether they were voted in, not voted in. The only thing I'm going to listen to is, guess what, my gut instinct, my higher self, which is the source of everything. Other people call it God. I call it the source creator of everything. Okay? I will listen to that. And guess what? You'd have to be really quiet to listen to that because God just whispers, doesn't yell in your ears, scream at you, or tell you what to do. Okay? But I do know one thing. No matter what I want, just know something. That which created the universe wants more for me, wants better for me than I can even imagine. Okay? And this is how I'm going to live and I'm going to give it. Ever since I went this way, where I didn't care what people thought about me, as long as it was based on unconditional love and un unconditional belief systems in creating on this planet, oh my God, you just set yourself free. Think about it. Think about how easy you get embarrassed. Think about how you need approval from your family and from uh, the majority or, or from other people or from people that you think are in authority over you, okay? Think about it, all right? Just know this, there is a genius inside of you, okay? There is a winner inside of you, all right? I want you to take that with you today. Put your shoulders back, put your chin up, put a slight smile on your face, somebody says, where are you? Oh, well, I thought they said, what are you? I don't even know what I am. I'll tell you what I am. I'm a spirit being, and I'm going to live forever. And, uh, and guess what? As long as I'm in this meat suit, I'm going to respect it, honor it, and protect it, and I'm going to rock it. How's that? Where am I? I'm in um, Zihuatanejo, uh, Mexico. And um, this is we're, ge uh, we're getting ready because we're going to be doing a course here in um, June, February 1st. We're doing a New World Practitioner course, we're doing a Braveheart Circle, and we're doing a Pelvic course, and we're gonna be doing it at not a five star, but a five diamond uh, resort. Ah, what do you think of that? Well, I'm hoping. I'm supposed to be getting an email and hopefully get confirmation, and then that'll be that, won't it? Okay, so understand something. Everything I do, I do for me. Oh, wait a minute. Well, what a selfish guy he is. No, 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 no. Everything I do for me, I want to do for everybody else. Remember something. You can't give what you're not. You're only going to give what you are. If I had unconditional love and care for myself, and I can pull this thing off, maybe I can do that for everyone else as well. And for those that they make it really hard for me to love them, maybe I'll just focus on those people that make it easy for me to love them. Because that's where my view should go. My view should go to where paradise is. Expect, I really, truly, I really, truly do not expect to be accepted by the majority of the population with this and the way I talk. So just get that. I get it. I get it. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Right now, my tongue is on fire. I went to the dentist and they actually had a drill and they actually took a chunk out of it. So it doesn't matter, even though my nose is on fire and I feel like I've got all this pain going on. Look at this. I can override it. You know, pain is a GPS. People run for it, so they're always in it. Would you like it if I could teach you how to master pain? Yeah, yeah, because pain is a GPS. It's a God-given gift. What if you could master it? What if you knew that there was a slight symptom of it and you could just get rid of it? What if you could master your whole life? What if you never ever had to worry about ever being sick again or having disease? I know a lot of you uh, don't believe me, but um, 
just know this, my, my therapists do not get sick and when they do, they know why. And that's because they either beat up on themselves or they let somebody beat up on them emotionally or they went off track and then they were trying to destroy themselves with toxic food and drink. That's it, there's nothing else. The reality is, is we can all go dibble dabble into that stuff, but we got to know our limits and stay within it. Because 90% of your day should be done in a brave heart, unconditional love way for yourself first and foremost, because everybody else is gonna feel, feel it. If you're the type of person, which is the majority of the population, that go out and look at everybody as a damn nipple and wanna suck on them for love, that's low vibrational. That's not what love is. Love is love is unlimited and it comes from yourself. And you know, you can't make love to another person. You can give them the vibration of unconditional love, but you know, how do you give love to another person? Well, Daryl, you show it through gestures. Well, are you throwing it are you showing it through gestures because you want something from them? Or are you just showing love to everyone because you are that? I know one person that was, and that was Jesus Christ, and they murdered him for that. So understand something, you get people today to try to do unconditional love, and you'll be attacked by your family and your friends and uh, every other system out there, and they don't even know that they're attacking you for having unconditional love. Meanwhile, that's the reason why uh, we were born to what? Win, but we were conditioned to fail, and guess what? And people will unknowingly, from their subconscious, make sure that they condition their their loved ones to fail as well okay yeah you think i'm kidding all right it's time to wake up world and i'm going to tell you not wake up world the world's awake but wake up people we should stop saying world do you notice how they have a saying world all the time i want to change the world you can't change the world what do i need to change about this absolutely nothing okay what do you want to change you want to change this you want to change seven inches approximately seven inches what's in between here you change this you change everything okay you change the condition that you're in you'll never have to worry about the condition you have because you won't have one okay so just remember you were born to win you weren't conditioned to lose oh yes you were but now you're gonna have to go in and crack the coconut and you're gonna have to change your personality to change your reality think about that and then go to my library Doc of Detox Library .com. And if you want to really bring on the schooling, go to bhnuniversity.com. Have a beautiful day.